Hey there. Hope you're doing good. My table looks a little rough and I apologize for that. I have a uh, I have a part on my butcher paper that's dry that I actually want to keep so that's why I've not removed it yet and um, I also had a piece see that just pulls right off it's not pretty it's just dark purple but it came right off the butcher paper in this area where it's nice and clean so you can the great thing about this butcher paper is you get the edge of that paint if it's thick enough and you can just pull it right up if it dried thick enough for you to grab onto that kind of thing. I just wanted to show you this, but I'm keeping I want to keep that area and I'm working on a canvas that's going to be covering this, so I'm not going to put new butcher paper down. I'm not super sure what I'm going to do today. I just know that I want to do some kind of a ribbon pour over a white canvas and maybe I embellish it with some flowers kind of something like the colorful illusions things that I did but maybe a little bit different color palette this time and I'm thinking I want to do blues turquoises something along those lines so what I'm doing is I'm gonna mix up I've got some Arteza colors and I absolutely love the Arteza paints there's a link below that you can check out and um, and I've got some Artist Loft Turquoise, which I think I'm definitely going to use that. And I'm, but I'm not going to mix. I don't need a huge quantity, so I'm going to put maybe an ounce of paint in here. These are three ounce cups. So I just know that if I fill up about a third of the cup, the rest is going to be filled up with Floetrol. Well, Oetrol. I'm, gonna, I'm using Oetrol Easy Flow today. It's a European company. It's the same thing as Floetrol in America, but it's made in Europe. And it's water-based paint conditioner or paint extender. And um, if you're not in America or can't get either one of these, you'll just have to find a water-based paint conditioner from your paint store. That's the only way I can describe it is it's got to be a water-based paint in order to mix with your acrylic paints. So that's turquoise and aqua green. And I'm actually going to use some raw sienna which is kind of a golden brown color but I'm not going to use a lot because this paint really goes a long way. And I'm going to do some Prussian Blue, which is really like a dark, dark, dark turquoise. Well, it's not a dark turquoise. Payne's Gray is like a dark turquoise. Um, let me see how close. The Cerulean Blue is a little bluer than the turquoise color, so I'm going to use a little of that. And these are like 0.74 ounce tubes and uh, I might have put a third or fourth of this tube. I have used this tube over and over again on different pours. If you bounce your cups on the table that will level them out so you can eyeball how much paint conditioner you need to add to it, which I'm using Oetrol. Um, so I've got the Prussian blue and that blue. Do I want to go ultra? What's phthalo blue look like? I'm not sure if that's too close to the uh, Prussian blue there. So ultramarine is going to be super blue and then cobalt is going to be... I think I'll do the ultramarine. I kind of want soft and soothing colors, but um, I want vividness. So, move these out of the way. 
think I'm going to use my Tupperware thing to pour my colors in a ribbon from. So I'm a, that's why I've got that. So. This is a brand new bottle I've opened, but what I do is I put the strainer. Whoops. I didn't have a good hold on that jug. So I just eyeball how much I think is doubling my paint mixture. So one to one ratio. If I go a little bit over on the Oetrol, that's fine too because this paint is super pigmented and thick and rich and creamy and so it won't matter if I get a little too much in here. That's not going to affect the quality of your paint. But I am not going to put silicone in these colors. I want, I don't really want cells for this part of the pour. This jug is super heavy, so I'm having a hard time maneuvering it today. Sometimes my hands are stronger than other days. So, I don't think I saw any flickers, but that was just in case. And I already have my white mixed up. My white is in this big Dunkin' Donuts cup, which is going to go on the canvas. Then I have my white squeeze bottle with extra white paint that's a little bit thicker that I'll have available. And I'm also going to have colors. For my squeeze bottles that I'm going to use for the arty part of it. This is my bottle of water and it has 10% oetrol in it so that it's not just straight water and I'm going to speed through the mixing up process. Okay, so you saw me mix up a large cup of white, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and I did the 50-50 with Oetrol and added water. And I also went around the rim of the cup and took off the dried paint. Sometimes if you have a cup that's you know close to empty or whatever, if it's been sitting a while, that paint will collect around the edges towards the top and start drying, even with a lid this had a sealed lid on it, which has, you know, some crusties in it too, right here on the edge. You just want to make sure and break off those dried pieces off the lid and inside the edge of the cup. That way it does not fall into your pour when you're using that cup of paint. So I'm just trying to make sure my edge is nice and clean from any little crusty pieces of white paint. So I'm going to put this aside because this is the one I'm going to put on my canvas. But I wanted extra white paint to be able to use freely. So I've got my 18 by 24 canvas with push pins on the back. And it does have a crossbar which gives it extra support. But when I do these type of paintings, it's never really that heavy or loaded down with paint. I just want you to understand that. that I'm using very little paint compared to acrylic pores. I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do today. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the blow dryer. Um, I just want to do something really pretty and fluid. And then I want to add, here's the flow acrylic I used, Artist Loft flow acrylic. I want to add something floral. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my colors over here next to me and have those colors ready. So I have my Wilton Easy Glide tool. 
move the camera just a little bit wait for it to focus my canvas is not totally level I don't know if it's my table so I'm adjusting my push pins a little bit felt like my canvas wasn't level so I'm putting a light layer of white mixture on the surface the canvas also brushed up against the blue I just want to get that off the edge of the canvas because if my canvas is white there I want my paint to be white and not have any blue in it so just making sure that my canvas has paint everywhere so in, in the container I'm going to just kind of layer up my blues I'm not sure exactly how I would even like for them to kind of run together um, and I did not put silicone because I don't really want cells. You can also drop your canvas on your surface multiple times and that will release any air bubbles that are in the surface of the paint. So I'm going to start this cup with white. and put a little bit of that color so almost like a dirty pour I'm not trying to keep the colors separated. I've got plenty of paint here, but I don't I wasn't trying to cover the whole canvas, so I'm not sure how much of this paint I'll use. So I love, I love the effect already and it, some little tiny cells are popping up but I'm not looking for cells. I do want to tilt this though and get it to spread. trying to cover this white gap back up a little bit too So I never know what the end result is going to be. I just kind of wait until I do it and then I see how it inspires me.
So I'm not crazy about this heavy. I like a little bit of it. I'm not crazy about that. So I'm going to figure out something to do to... And I'm already decided I'm not putting flowers on this. It does not lend itself to flowers, but I'm, I'm going to add something else, I'm pretty sure. I'm just not sure what. So I love this coloration right here. So I'm going to do got like a little gradient pour in, in my cup. And I'm going to cross through it a few times and then pinch it. Okay, I am I'm stopping right here. I love this. I love it. And I've got to do another one now. Just because I love this combination of colors so much. It's very vivid and um, abstract and beautiful. So I'm going to move this one. So cells are popping up and that's okay, but I wanted you to see up close and that right there is my favorite part of it, and this loop, that striped loop is just gorgeous, so I'm really pleased with this, I love the colors. Okay, so I decided I'm going to do two canvases and they're going to be very similar. I 
I'm adding some white to my cup and I'm going to water it down just a little bit in this cup because I want this white surface very fluid. This has the same Oetrol to paint Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Just got paint on the side, blue paint, so trying to get that off. Trying to start with a white canvas. Again, you can drop your canvas a few times, and that will get rid of your air bubbles. So, starting with some white. So again, it's like a dirty pour. Loving it, loving it. So I need more paint. Um, just going to put another little bit in here and use it again.
Okay. I am done with this one. That was just too much going on what I had done. It needed a little bit more white negative space to go with the other one. I love this combination. It's ocean color and earthy. I don't know, it's just a great contrast. And um, so I'm going to leave it as is and not add any more uh, detail to it. So bring it up to you. That ribbon of color is just phenomenal. This is the joy of doing it and not really looking for cells, whereas you're looking more for the ribbons of color and that kind of thing, the gradation of color. So I'm loving this. I've got a little bit of some blue right here in the middle that just wants to pop up. So I'm trying to kind of blend that in a little bit. So I'm kind of on a roll here. I want to use up my colors that I mixed because they're so gorgeous. So I'm going to put down a white base coat. A little bit thin, so I'm adding a little bit more. So I'm loving this blue combination that I had done the 18 by 24 canvases. So I'm going to finish out the colors with this canvas, 12 by 24. And I'm just kind of doing like a dirty pour container. And I think I pretty much used up all the colors. Let that drain down in that corner because I may want to use that and some of my spills. None of this has silicone in it. See a chunk of something. I'm just going to pick it out with my finger here. I don't think I got it though. It's amazing how 
the colors blend together in such a cloudy and mysterious kind of way. It's really pretty. So I probably have a little bit more color on here than I really wanted originally. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. kind of weird. I don't know. It is what it is. I liked breaking up that in the middle there. Yeah. I need something with some impact. I love these colors together. Okay, I'm gonna stop. That's kind of weird, but I'm going to leave it. And you're saying, why? Because I don't want to take it off. <laughs> um, what can I say? So I'm done with this one. So it's kind of unusual but it actually goes with the other two and this one is the same length it's 12 by 24 and the others are 18 by 24 so you could actually do the two 18 by 24s and this in the middle and it would go beautifully and beautiful colors on the table oh I just love these colors they're just fabulous I, I understand why some people do like a certain color range and they don't veer from it pretty much they stay in the blues to aquas and I understand that because you can really probably fine-tune it and get it to a science in a way um, I just love playing with this not having silicone in it or OGX and just with the way the edges are kind of 
they're kind of jagged it's just really beautiful up close um, I didn't I don't know if you saw that but just like the edges along this part here are like a little bit jagged and I love the the transparency and the way the colors flow together it's really beautiful the ribbon pours are very fun to do I have to say they're all fun to do I love to do swipes I love to do dirty pours I did a flower where I blew it with a blow dryer and that was so much fun they're all they're all fun to do so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel go to Instagram and follow me there at Sandra underscore let find my Facebook group below this video there are links to my Facebook group to PayPal if you'd like to give a donation because I spend a ton of money on this <laughs> and um, there's patreon if you would like to come over to my patreon page and become a member it could only be two dollars a month or maybe five dollars and you'll get to be a part of my community that's very personal so uh, thank you so much for watching today and I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did and you have a great day see you later